One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a beautiful one owner 1988 Buick Electra estate wagon. And it's a great looking car. It's got its wear and tear here and there. And it kind of rhymes. Um, you can see the wood's a little, well, the foul wood is a little kind of faded. And the paint is definitely faded. And I'm going to go around, do kind of a once around, show you the car in all its splendor. And then I'll kind of go up close, drop underneath it, show you underneath and all that good stuff. I should have about a hundred pictures uploaded to my website, oneownercarguy.com. And you can check that out on there. Absolutely beautiful car. If you're looking for these old wagons, it's getting hard to find them in a nice clean car seat dent there. That's not been all molested and torn apart and been made into something that it's not. They even heat the suspension up out of them and people ruin these cars. But also, if that's what they want to do to them, hey man, it's keeping the sport alive. That's one thing I'll say. Um, nobody else was interested in these cars until people started modifying them. And now the purists are coming back to them. Some of them never left. Some people just love a wagon. And I don't know where the wagon disappeared to in America, but here's one of them. I'm going to drop down, show you underneath. God, I love these wagons, just looking down the sides of them. Look at that. Back when hood ornaments were just going out, man. This grill looks great. Underneath, this car is just clean as can be. Low level light adjustment there. You can see the, even the suspension parts are nice and in good shape. There's some straw and weeds. We weeded it around the car. And threw some straw up in there. Straw! No rust, a little patina on the open metal surfaces. I'd actually undercoat the piss out of this. Even the plastic inner fender wells are just in great shape. Um, tires look to have good tread and all, but they're not, I don't know. Here, let me, let, let's look close at this one. There's a little bit of dry rod starting around there. I hate that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a nice Goodyear Wrangler, SRA, plenty of tread. Mismatch set. Tranny looks good. Floors look good. That's all there is to say about it. And my screen went off. There we go. I was zooming. I hope I didn't do that back there. I'll show again. A little damp gasket up there around the plug. Here, I'll show this again. Make sure you can see it. My screen went off again. But I'm sure you can see rocker panel under here. Great condition. Look at this. No rust in the edges of all these parts. And it has been painted. It was a darker blue. I'll actually show you back here somewhere. Yeah, right there. You can see. So that's the underneath. Let me show you the last piece of the underneath. There you go. Pretty nice. One owner, well maintained. Okay, so, it's your once around, it's your underneath, it's all that good stuff. Now, one owner, well maintained, they do come with their own set of problems that you may run into. Um, hey, it's an old car, it's a 1988. Um, things could go out. The cool thing is, the things that go out are usually pretty darn cheap. Starters are like 25 to 55 bucks, um, alternators around the same, water pumps, fuel pumps. Water pumps, I bought something for one of my old Fords, it was $19. Cheap, and I've seen them cheaper than that. So, parts are cheap, but stuff like that can go. Belts, hoses, stuff like that, bands and trannies. But once you replace stuff, you know, hey, you got a long living car, and it's cheap little things to tinker on. Nothing that like that's wrong right now, it's in great shape. I just want to forewarn on these old cars. People think they're buying a car like this and spending good money on something that's going to run like a, a brand new Ford Focus. And it just doesn't always work that way on old cars. So let's look at this car. Let's look at what we've actually got here and kind of see if it's the car for you. Call me, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Now, we chose to kind of buff it. It was very bad on the dryness of the paint. Um, the buffing didn't really work that well. So we chose to actually knock it down a little bit with like 1500. But what was happening with the buffing is the buffing compound was getting stuck in here. And you could buff on this and make it look, it's just the paint's gone, it needs a paint job. Let's just say this car needs a paint job. 
Um, there's not rusty, it's not anything. It just needs a paint job. This paint down here looks great. Sun didn't hit it. Up here, man, it's just not that good. It even peeled off along the edges here. So let's just take that into account on the whole car and figure, hey, the car needed a paint job. Um, in fact, right here, there's some bumps and stuff. Um, that's from a buffer. That is buffer damage from my guy buffering it and not knowing what he was doing. It was a good one here to do it on. And it's hard to know on this because it just bounds into it. This was so dry. Um, so he did what he could on it, but it's just not, I didn't expect a lot. And I just wanted it to look as good as it could. That's what it does, but look at that down there. Just beautiful. So you can repaint the top surface, but the truth of the matter is, do the wood too. Redo it, get some new wood on there. You can get it on the internet. Um, go with black wood, man, that'd look cool. Dents and dings, there ain't much to talk about. Now I'm gonna look down the side and I'm gonna show you down the side. I'm sure there's a couple dings in the hood. Um, get you every single angle I can here. Now all this stuff's broken out. Even the plastic retainer clips in there are still there. It's in good shape. It's just all that breaks out on a Chevy like this, a GM. And I hope this wind don't kill me for my sound. So, in general, needs paint. <whistles> Dings and dents. Well, not really a lot to talk about on this side. There's a big ding on the other side. There's a couple door dings in here, tiny. And a couple right here is what I've seen. And there may be a few more little splits in the wood right there. Paint coming off in miscellaneous places along here. Non-rusty. I think it's had it, yeah. This had a little factory mud flap on here or something. Interesting. Okay, that's that. That filler piece is still there, but the whole back bumper one's gone. That's just how they do. And I had somebody ask, well, why do you say stuff like that? Well, it's usually on a car that that's just how they do. And on these, there's nothing else you can say. That's just how they do. This piece of trim is bent a little bit from being smacked here. This is not just how they do, but it's just how they do when you do that to it. This could be straightened out, I believe. Um, this piece is, it's the piece that you can kind of get for them easily. All this I would replace anyways when I painted it, just because um, it would look better to have that replaced. Um, the bottom piece is straight and fine. This one can be straightened. It's just right there. That's Breeder, BeaglesPocket.com. Smack these out and get this thing painted. Now besides that, not a lot to talk about along the way of dings. Dents or damage. It's just in good shape. Up and down the sides. Top, faded, same deal going on. Just like that. These trim pieces are all here. Not rusted underneath them or picking up anywhere. There's a thing in that one. But they're all in great shape. Oh, breeder's going crazy. Okay, so that's the exterior. I love these. I guess you call them a sail panel. That little thing right there, maybe. Yeah, that little thing right there. I thought I said that and noticed. Okay, that's your exterior review. Um, I'm going to hook it on up to the house. We're going to do a test drive. I'm going to do the interior. I can't think of anything else to show you around the wheel well, arch well trims. It's in great shape. Ding there. I love the rock on the bottom. Wow. <laughs> I'll bet you, yeah. That's tape from when they painted it. Easy part to forget. Probably the old guy that had it didn't want to strip that off either. But needs to be cleaned up a little. I see a ding right here somewhere. Very clean on that trim. Oh, missing two hubcaps. That's got it. That don't. And on the other tires, same thing right around there. Just a little bit of dry rot. And I just try to be as upfront as I can on these. Oh, one of the front bumper pads is missing. I'll show you that. Mission. A little crack in the T 
tail light lens there. A little one starting there. Oh, cracks in this piece of rubber, and how this does go up and down, yes. Um, that is dinged also, that piece of trim. That hubcap's there. I'd find a set of four, is what I'd do. Just to where you had a nice looking deal. Um, around this wheel well trim is in great shape. Okay, that's the deal. That's the car. Bingity bam, boom to boom. I'm gonna come back, do the interior, do a test drive, and show you the rest. Thanks for watching. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com.